you guys how to do your nails press on style i showed you guys a while ago me using these i got these I got these ones from sally's this is the coffin shape they do have other shapes as well but the coffin shape is what i prefer i'm going to show you guys two different ways where you can do it you can just apply them directly on your nails or you can go in like i did here's one of my rough ones and you can grab some poster tack you can go in with these hooks apply it to some cardboard and just apply the hooks with the poster tack and then you can just stick the nail directly on there and then paint that way if that's easier for you whichever you prefer i'll be showing you guys that method this i got at the dollar store okay super affordable so what you do you just grab some like this okay save the rest you don't need too much sometimes less is just enough this i got this from the dollar store as well and you can apply as many as you need i'm just going to apply 10 because that's just how many i need and i just got this out of one of my boxes that i had it had just this cardboard you could do whatever you want you can even put it on the back of here you can put it on a nail file whatever works for you i like just putting it here because i like the way it's slanted so what you're going to do is just remove the sticker on the back of the hook and you want to place this downwards like this you don't want to place it like this you can but it's just how the nail is going to sit so i like prefer it to be this way and you're just going to stick it on boom just like that and that's going to make everything so easy especially if you want to add like gems and stuff and you want to make sure that everything goes on perfectly just go in with something like this so that you can paint the nails and then once they're dry apply them and people even make these nails for a living so if you want to start doing that too like a side hustle by all means do that and i'm pretty sure you can get some loonies Ten. so there you go you have them all right there and it's going to make everything super easy so i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna go in with a little bit of this poster tack roll it up you can just apply it directly or you guys can grab your nail and then stick it on there see and it's literally going to make it so easy just to go boom and paint them it makes it so easy so again if you are making this for like a friend or something or even for yourself and you don't want to get any of like nail polish on you if you're not good at painting your nails and stuff me i'm horrible at it especially with my left hand not the best so this is really going to come in handy to help you out and save time as well too like the cleanup and stuff that you have to do this isn't going to be for everybody you know everyone has different tastes and stuff but i've been loving this method because i can save money there you go and you can just like add your nails and stuff like that whatever you want to do so i wanted to show you guys that so i'm going to put this to the side and then i am going to work on my nails nails all right so when i first applied my first set i did not file filing for you is optional i didn't want to file because i didn't know if i wanted to keep them on a long time i didn't know any of that so filing is really really up to you if you want to file your net your nails and if you want to you know do that if you do file them they will last a lot longer because the glue will adhere a lot better than if it just going in solo by itself but before we go into filing let's clip our nails you don't have to cut your nails but i don't want it looking super weird because this is like as long as the nail that i'm going to be applying so i just want to cut it down just a tad bit okay and i just want to go in with the nails just to see which ones fit me before I go in and apply. So I have them all picked out right here. We're all ready to go. Now I'm just going to file just a little bit. So we're just going to file them, file them. Again, the first time I did not file them and they 
they stayed on a long time like they did good i did laundry all that good stuff wash dishes I have a lot of babies so i'm constantly washing my hands and it did amazing you guys like it really really did so i can just imagine how well these are going to last with me filing my nails and again filing them is just going to help the nail glue just adhere and for these just to last longer as well all filed are they perfect no but that's okay now i'm going to go in with this glue i got it at sally beauty this is beauty secret secrets quick dry nail glue this glue worked amazing for me so i'm going to continue to use it i do not push back my cuticles at all i don't do any of that so i'm just going to just go right in and just apply my nails so i'm just going to file off this right here just very lightly don't go too too crazy because then you're just going to mess up the whole nail shape okay so i'm just going to apply some of that glue make sure to get the edges flip it around and i push it down towards my cuticle and then up hold it there all right and i'm just going to apply all of them like that so going in file that very lightly and they have different shapes you don't have to get the coffin shape i prefer the coffin because that's how i get my nails done when i get them done i go in for a coffin shape i feel like it's most flattering on my nail it's really up to you just because i'm using the coffin shape does not mean you need to grab the coffin shape there's different ones they have stiletto they have the oval they have all kinds of different ones but I know for sure the coffin ones are very popular because when I went to go pick up another pack, there was no more. All right, so they are on. I feel really cute. I have a little bit of the side showing right here, but it's okay. It's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, just as long as they're on, you feel cute. They look cute. Boo, 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 boo. Boo -boo. okay now i am going to go in with my koki nail polish and this is in cafe ole i'm gonna go in with this one and i'm just going to paint them just right over okay and that's just one layer we are going to go back in with another first we're just going to do one layer first, let it dry, and then go in with a second coat. Okay, and then we're just going to let them dry a little bit and then we're going to add another coat. Okay, so those are painted, now moving on to the next. So you see two coats, one coat so i'm just going to relax and let them dry and then when i come back we will be adding some jewels to the nails all right so you can leave the nails like this finish off with a clear nail polish i've had my nails just like this and i've felt myself and i felt very cute very very cute but I do want to bling out my nails. I bought these bling bling for a reason and I want my nails to look really cute. Again, you can leave them how you guys want, but I want to add some bling. I feel like there's something just about rhinestones that make you just feel super duper cute, right? So there's hearts, there's butterflies, there's a lot. So I'm gonna go in with this one. I'm gonna go in with this one and we're going to, a ver, <laughs> hopefully it comes out cute. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of glue. I'm just going to use just an eyeliner brush. Turn around. Oh, you wait, I don't think I'm gonna be able to pick it up with Bubba. All right, I'm gonna go in with some tweezers. See or no? See or, oh, you. I'm gonna try some of the putty. Ooh, okay, it worked. Oh, it worked, you guys, doing it like this. Okay, cool. I'm going to fix it again i don't know how this is going to look it's my first time press it down i don't know how it's going to look am i kind of like low-key nervous but i can't believe this worked <laughs> i can't believe doing it like this worked 
All right, now I'm gonna go into the smaller gems. Look how little and cute they look. Okay, so we're going to add them around here. Oh, can you help me? I know there's like a special tool for this, but we're trying to be budget friendly, okay? Oh, that is looking so cute. And rhinestones are expensive. I would know because I never get them done. I'm always like, oh, okay. Oh, thank you. Can you just, yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> See where this would be perfect to have it on our this because there's no moving around and it's just a lot easier just to just do it. You know, you can grab it and do all that instead of like breaking your neck trying to do it like this but we're ready too far i'm going to continue to break my neck i know some people like using gel but i don't have any gel right now so we're going to what use what we got oh girl you cute then i'm going to use let me see maybe this one boom look at that Oh, how cute. All right, there you go. Do you see her? <gasps> yes, I see her. You see her? So I just brought it in just a little bit more. Oh my gosh, I wasn't even showing you guys. <sighs> there you go on that one. See, so on this now, I wouldn't be able to do it because like I, I can't. I wouldn't know how to like place it correctly because it's my opposite hand. But we're only gonna do one on this one because I'm not that cool, you guys. So that's when this would come into play when I wanted to be cool, you know? But now we're just going to top coat. I am going to use the Sally Hansen Manga Strength Extra Shine Top Coat. And let's just, just going to make sure that our nails are looking really nice and shiny. Then I'm just going to wait for those to dry. Okay, so while that's drying, I'm going to show you guys with this one. So we're gonna go in with more of that nail polish. That's like my favorite shade, you guys. It's so freaking pretty. And I'm just going to pick up here. And we're just going to lightly, so we're just going to paint this. Okay, we're going to let it dry and then we're gonna go in with a second coat. Okay, I'm gonna go in with another coat. I want to go in with this one right here. Pick it up and we are going to lay it down. The medium size one and just apply it right there. There is that one. It's a lot easier this way to like apply the gems and stuff because I'm not moving around as much and it's just easy to just go boom, 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 boom. So I'm just going to just speed this part up and apply the, the jewels. I keep wanting to say gems. <laughs> I'm going to apply the gems. Alrighty, love, so I'm all finished. They're all done. Just washed my hands and I love the way it came out. I'm not that I'm not that cool with the whole gem stuff yet. So if you guys have any cool pictures or anything like that, like placement, please tag me so I can check them out and I can practice. And everything that I mentioned will be linked down below in the description box. Make sure to check it out, you guys. I think this is such a steal. I paid what, like around, I think it was like 10, $10, I think for that amount, I can get so much use out of this. This comes with a hundred nails. I've done my nails like four times using this. I still got more to go, which is so freaking awesome. So it's definitely a money saver in my opinion. When I would go get my nails done, just for the plain nude was like 30, 35 bucks. But anyways, it saves money and it's just really easy. Just pop them on. You don't even have to file. Like I mentioned, this is optional. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give me a big thumbs up. Oh, look, and this is the one that I finished after. Mira, see? Again, I don't know how to do the whole placement just yet, 
but it was a, definitely a lot easier to place the stones on here than going and moving my hand and doing it on myself so i would definitely recommend doing it on this and then being able to just like boom look it comes right off add some glue done and you're good to go so yeah i think it would go on this one yeah good to go you see you just pop it on good to go and it makes it so freaking easy you guys and boom you can put them back you don't even have to go in with glue you can go in with just the sticky residue and then at night pop them back on here and then you're good to go so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you guys did please make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video bye